Hello everyone, my name is Gothic Lord UK and I'm here continuing to check out games from Nextfest and demos and all other kinds of good stuff. This is Overhaul, comes out October 14th, so if you're seeing this about two weeks from now, it should be available. Apparently it is a fusion of logic puzzles and top-down and action game, so no idea how those two things are going to fuse together, but I'm certainly going to try my best. I'm just going to bring this down a little more. And then let's get to a new game and see what it's all about. It's been 10 years since the power plant stopped working. It happened suddenly and then, well, now I spent half my life without energy. The Sulkin tribes learned to operate with other resources and we've cut down on unnecessary costs. You get used to it, eventually. Until one day, well, your sister is about to have a kid. And you're happy, at first. But then, no matter how you look at it, you know you have to say goodbye to one of them at birth. If not both. So here I am, alone, standing in front of this menacing building. The power plant. It's said to have been taken over by unknown life forms during the time it was abandoned. And I'll be the first to witness that. The task is simple. Reach the core and bring the power back to the village with the help of these guys power seeds a source of energy that a tribe has been harvesting for dozens of years the core is at the deepest part of the power plant I'll go down there and hopefully go down in history at the same time Ikami tribe hero the selfless savior or just the best brother either way I'm up for it so let's get to work. All right, we got ourselves a dungeon crawl through a power plant then. Well, may the sun light my way. Place a seed. Oh, not, not in the black thing in the hole. Q, E, F, click, right click, base. Shift, Control, Z. All right. We have come unstuck. I can walk behind this thing. All right. Controls. Move, WASD. And we do not have controls for everything else. Okay, let's... Uh, Place seed, dig out seed, burst, can't do shift for burst, okay, uh, burst, increase seed amount, decrease seed amount. Uh, you were trying to prompt me with the key, okay. Maybe I should have gone a controller. But we're on our way. Am I even going to need the mouse, I wonder? Let's get started. Select a mount. Fill the grid in each room to keep going. A same value can only appear once per line and column. So this needs... Select seed amount. Three. Uh, so three, three. This has to be three here. And then one, two, two. This needs to be two. And then ones uh, going here and here. Easy enough. Severed mark heals one HP, gather three to gain a health. Okay. Once completed, the grid generates watts and drops an item. Alright, tell you what, I'm going to change these hotkeys a second. Alright, I just, I stuck a controller in. Everything will be fine. The arrows on some cells always point towards a lower value. They're both a clue and a constraint. Pick up seeds. Okay. 
I mean, I'm trying to pick these seeds up. Apparently, they just don't want to be picked up. So the arrows and some cells always point towards a lower value. So that's... Right, so if we cause an error, then we get injured, sure. But can I pick up these seeds that are here? This hotkey is not letting me. What was my pick up on the keyboard? Everything hates me. Hold on. Now these ones, these seeds are fixed, but if I do three here, and then one there, we follow the rules. Then we can do three here. Three and two and one. And two. And one. And three. Withered mark when damaged decays over time restored when healing. All right, whatever that means. Hmm. All right, now we can go up to four seeds. You can place the wrong amount of seeds on some cells without causing an error. These seeds will start shaking to indicate that you're on the wrong path. So, this four, do you want to be picked up? You do. But the rest of these are fixed. So, if this has to be a lower number, did we decide? Then, that can be four. No! no. We can't have two threes in a row. That's going to be two. Four, three. Four, two, one. Two and one. Then this has one, three, two. We need a four. This has one, four, three. We need a two. This has three, one, two. We need a four. This has two, one, four. We need a three. Velocity mark gives 15% move speed and planting speed. Are we going to be up against the clock soon? Some rooms have additional challenges. This one must be completed within a time limit. Oh, I see the, uh, the pink going around the edge. Sure. Okay, that's all gone well. Chrono mark extends time challenge duration and every obstacle's cooldown time. Can I go back to the left? No. All right. We will press on then. Let me get that cursor off the screen. I think I've heard of that. This obstacle is a seed jammer. It can be disabled temporarily by walking on the pressure plates. Oh, well, that'll be annoying, won't it? Right, so clear that out then that needs a one that needs a two that needs a three that needs a two that needs a three power mark gives one strength to get plants faster oh hello that's the energy well please work Energy well. Permanent mark. Health mark gives an additional permanent health. I'll take it. Health mark gives an additional permanent health. Sure. Alright, well, that is clearly not quite the progress we wanted for our sister, but we'll go deeper, I guess. There's some kind of map arrived at the top of the screen, I think. This has to be a two. That makes one. Uh, so, do we just have some freedom here? If we have one, two, one. Okay, so this is going to be one here. And that makes that three, two. This is three. And this is two. It's over. Chrono mark extends time, challenge, duration, and every obstacle's cooldown time. 
So I've been going just to the right every single time, but I think I can go up or down if we want to. Don't know if the colored things mean anything different. Interesting. Right, so that lets me do that, but I need to get rid of these first. Now, slowly feeling like I'm in a bit of a labyrinth. Let's go three and two. Uh, excuse you. Two and three and three and one and one. Two, two. Good. I hoped it was gonna go better. Severed mark heals one HP. Gather three to gain a health mark. Also, I have this here. To just plant one random seed of its own. We also cannot go back the way we came, but we do have the options of the three other directions around us. This has like one leaf sticking out of it. This has two leaves. And this side here seems to have three leaves. That might be indicative of difficulty. Yeah, spooky. I'm not gonna let it get to me. Okay, I'm gonna avoid those at all costs. Um, so this has to be a two, that so we can do one here. That's going to make this three. Let's not get caught by all of these things. These, I need a one -er here. That makes that a two, that makes that a three. And those things are not stopping. Take my severed mark. Let's go for a two leaf door. Whoa, look at all those crystals. And beautiful. Three, two, one. Also one. Look out for that. That's going to be a three here. Um, so we can do two and two and three. Three, 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 one. This can be one here. That's fine. Never strike twice, huh? Uh, okay. Everything is question marks after this. We got 15% more movement speed. When in doubt, just go to the right. Seems to be going well. Right, we've reached whatever the middle chamber thing is on the map. I'm gonna take this one. Grants 10 watts. Grants 10 watts. 10 watts. 10 watts. Okay. Have some seeds. So we've clearly got something that we need, but we have to keep delving deeper. Let's go for another twofer. Right, we're up against the clock. We've got um, one, two. This has to be three and four. Jeez, what is happening? Okay. Four there as well, please. Um, if that's one, this has to be a Oh god. I think this corner has to be a f Oh god, yeah, let's not do that. I think this corner has to be a four. Could be a two and a three. Oh god. Alright, let's go through. No, it can't. It has to be a four here. Dig those up. This is not going to go well. Four, three, two, three, four, one. Oh god, oh god. Three, no, that was real bad. That was real bad, I'm down. I got wrecked. Total 46 gained 46, most gained 46, zero spent. Akali failed to reach the core. Clear time 432, number of tries two. All right, we will give that one more go. Oh, we're back here at this generator. Interesting. So we have 46 to spend. Become invincible for 10 seconds. Run into plants and fill in cells to generate watts. Gives an additional permanent power mark. So we have some kind of 
overworld progression for our future endeavors. I'll just take that one upgrade for now. We'll keep moving. Let's go. So, a this hack. This needs to be three, two, one. This has to be the three. The three here. Two there. One there. Two there, which makes this the other three. That's going to be a one. That needs to be a one. And there's your other two. Power mark gives one strength to get plants faster. All right, let's go with the one supposed difficulty thing. Right, well... You're out. You're out. Not really sure what these are for, but, you know, if you have the chance to plant more seeds, why wouldn't you? Uh, three, but this has to be bigger than that, must be two and one and one. Then from that, this needs a three here. That makes that the other three, that a two. That a two and a one. Then we have this side. If that's a one and this has to be bigger than that, this must be the three onto the two because we can't have two ones in the horizontal column. That's a one here. Three in that center line. Then we just need a pair of twos. We need a third three first. That's easy enough. That puts our two there, and here, and one there. Done. Power mark gives one strength to get plants faster. Let's go for a twofer. Right. Dig that up, dig that up. We're on the clock. Um, one, two, one, two, three. So this must be a four. That makes this a two, and this a three. Uh, this has to be bigger than that. This can't be one. It can't be two. So this must be four and three. One there. That makes this a four in the corner. Then we need one more four, which is going to have to go there. One, four, three, two. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one seeds can go in there that was a good one right uh, I will try and verbalize my thought process as we're sticking seeds down a bit better because otherwise it's just me saying numbers Dark and creepy. so this needs a two this needs to be a bigger number than this what is happening this is fine I'm sure so this needs to be a bigger number and we can't have we can't have two ones in this so uh, screw you that's going to be our one and our two and then we just have to fill in the blanks well my shield is gone to be honest i barely even knew i had it that's done grants 10 watts thanks ever so much uh mystery round let's go up Okay. This is. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is some kind of riddle. So we've got one in this corner, three in this corner, four in that corner, two in that corner. Special offer healing plants always heal you. Five in the center doesn't mean anything extra, I suppose. All right, let's go up again. What is this? All right, this all looks terrifying. So a four and a one here. Then a two and a one here. Do the four rows care about each other? We have three. 
Oh god. Hello. Alright. You can just go away then. Um, two, four. I'm going to guess that's a one. I'm assuming that the big grid counts. So, this one needs a four. Could go here. No, you couldn't. You're dumb. You're dumb. Four there. Four there. Yes, you've got a big, scary-looking banana thing. Uh, you need a two. Top to bottom. Then left to right, you need a one. And lastly here, we need a three. Shock Absorber, you no longer slow down when carrying something. I didn't know I could carry things, but great to know. Let's go for another two. Keep the challenge up a bit. All right, well, can I destroy you? Yes. You get removed. You get removed. Plants are all gone, so we have three re free rain to do this. Out. No! Or did the one above it? I clearly failed to reach the core. Alright. And a cold shower to top it off. I'm gonna put that down there, but that is very interesting. I'm intrigued to see how things could get different deeper into the game, how much more challenging the puzzles can get, how many more variables there might be in time. Uh, but as I said, the game comes out, I think, October 14th. If you want to check it out, there'll be links down to everything else below. There'll be a link to the rest of the Next Fest playlist. And if you haven't done so, maybe consider subscribing or hitting that like button for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.